444. Goodbye, San Diego. Next stop, Lake Tahoe. According to my watch, we have 10 hours of driving ahead of us. <laughs> Let's go. I stood right here and gave you a breakdown last time I got home. Such a good feeling. Here we are, a month later, I'm back on the road. It's gonna be a hell of a trek. Load it up, let's rock. Hey, good news, we're 20 minutes into the trip and it's raining and the Green Goblin does not have windshield wipers. <laughs> All right, just had our first pit stop. We are here in the Midwest. Just kidding. Uh, we're in Lone Town? Lone something? I don't know. Quick breakfast sandwich. I'm trying to hide my donut like a little fat kid. Fill up, keep going. I'm sure you recognize this if you've seen any of the other vlogs. The Green Goblin made it. 10 hours and 33 minutes. <laughs> Turning the key. Got a nice quick shower. Feeling good. Green Goblin has officially been returned to its owner. I'm back to being carless, but a bus owner. Hey, everybody. <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> Using my rights, my inalienable rights. Here we are, back at GSR. My triathlon bike that needs to get packed up right now so I don't have to do it at 4 a.m. Talk about traveling light. Idiot. Look at this monstrosity. I got my bike, I got my wetsuit, I got tires, camera equipment. Hopefully they take it. Very inefficient. I'm spent, but we are going to grab some beers, do some bowling, and get a full night in, because I'm not gonna be on the West Coast for quite some time. Freaking me out. I made it 22 hours. I gotta go to bed. It's 2 a.m. I gotta get up at 3.30 or 4, catch the shuttle, go to the airport. This is gonna be a hell of a 48 hours of travel. Unfortunately, we are hustling right now. It's 4.05, the shuttle is supposed to be leaving at 4.15. But in other news, that was a really good hour and 15 minutes of sleep. All right, hopefully we catch the shuttle. Good news, bad news. Shuttle's here, but I don't fit. Bike made it on, all right. Got through security, it is now 5.30 a.m. Flight to Chicago, layover, then on to Philly. Good flight, 
Now we're walking to the next gig. We got an hour layover. We got a ton of bags. I'm weighted down. It is now 12:30. We fly out at 1:30. Philadelphia. It is 94 degrees out and it's 5 p.m. Hopefully the triathlon bike made it. It's in one piece. Long travel day. All good though. No sleep. Keep rolling. <laughs> Yup, I am all smiles because my bike made it in one piece. Last time I shipped it, TSA, ah! It is 5.22, load this bike up, gotta get on the road. It's probably gonna take me about two or three hours to get to my parents' house. I'm stoked because this means I'm back on the East Coast, I have all my stuff, and then turn around and head to London tomorrow. Here's my travel tip. Hello, how are you? I'm doing well, $4. I'm fine with that. Thank you so much. All right, so what was that, Luke? That is my travel tip. My travel tip is when you have a bunch of shit, you don't want to lug it around, you get in a rental car, just leave it. Get off the plane and go straight to the rental car. Why? Because you're gonna beat all the other people that are on your flight going to the rental car. So you sign up for their stupid rewards thing, you get bumped to the front of the line, you pick up your car, you go back and you park it right in front of baggage claim in the short term parking. Sometimes it's free, however, that's the most I've ever paid, which was $4. If you're being cheap and you're penny pinching, I still think that is worth every cent. Not to lug all that crap around. You go, you get the car, you walk 15 feet, you load it up, and he gone! Per any of my previous posts, vlogs you may have seen that I say if you're in Delaware there's one thing you need to do kind of do some shopping <laughs> I want to share my one and only vent session from my travel day number one you're not allowed to criticize and critique the flight attendant at Southwest nor are you allowed to give the front desk person a hard time. And do you really think that the person behind the counter that is employed and is starting to work at 4.30 in the at 4.30 in the morning wants to start their morning off with you bitching at them? So unnecessary. My second part to that, you're not allowed to judge a book by its cover. When you see someone all worked up and you see someone frantic, and you see someone wound way too freaking tight, Give them a little bit of slack because you don't know what they went through. You don't know what's going on in their world. You don't know how their day is going. So it goes both ways. This is my last point. Honest. My last point is that everyone always talks about how their travel day was hellish. Or that was a travel day that I like to forget. How many times have you driven cross country? Hmm? If you're on an airplane, you are already way more privileged than most folk. So shut up. Just deal with the brakes. It's not a big deal. I get it. You feel like you're inconvenienced, but so is everyone else. You can either choose to be positive or you can be a grouch about it. And woe is me. This is a long travel day. It's been a long two travel days. But guess what? I did it to myself. I picked the flights. I decided to drive from San Diego to Tahoe. I decided to fly into Philly at rush hour traffic, then get a rental car, then drive three hours to my parents' house, only to get in the car at mid-afternoon tomorrow and drive back to Philly to fly to London. I did all that. So I'm not gonna say a word to anybody. I'm super grateful. That's all. Oh, in Cambridge, Maryland.
Travel day. Just about over. up some editing got to make sure the podcast is ready while I am overseas so get some sleep tomorrow's a new day and tomorrow's a new travel day <laughs> thank you for watching as always much appreciated I'm out smush